for the pigeon stretch, one of the big things that people mess up in this exercise is they really focus on how wide they can get their knees. I don't want you to really focus on that. I want you to think about curling this foot under, trying to put this foot within my hips. And then from here, just sinking back before you start straightening everything out, okay? So for pigeon, you see my foot's kind of over to the side. I'm not cramming it up here to where I'm sitting on my hips. I'm getting it off to the side and I'm just sinking down into it. From here, you can stay on your hands. If you're a little bit more advanced, you go to your elbows or you can even stretch out and lay down, take your chest to the mat. All right, so you've got a couple different options there. And one of the big things to remember is the more mobile your hip gets, the more you can slide your foot out. So I can go from here, rock back on the hip, straighten it up a little bit, and then come back up. This is gonna put a little bit more into the glute med and the IT band. So be careful whenever you kick your foot out, but that gives you another option to get a little bit deeper stretch in the, what they call the deep six, right where your hamstring and glute attachment is. So you can go here, but make sure that you don't fold down until you feel a good stretch from there. As always, anything we do on one side, we do on the other. So I'm gonna start out here. Again, I'm not cramming my knee to the midline, I'm kind of bringing it over to the side, staying more on my shin than I am my hip. Sinking down, whatever depth you need. Nice controlled breathing. If you want to bring it outside a little bit, set to my hip, pull the foot up, and then go right back up top. And like I said, you can put your hands to the mat. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, just make sure that whenever you stretch, you're not feeling any pain. And that's the pigeon stretch.